Hello folks, welcome to Albana, Bulgaria, um, here in the Dobrich province, I think. Um, <laughs> and we, we just got dropped off by our taxi driver here because we couldn't like, explain to him how to get to the actual destination that we're going. So basically what we have to do is fucking walk down the beach, down to where we're trying to fucking go, to fish fish. Yeah, look at this. Like this town, completely abandoned. There ain't shit going on here. Um, I don't know if that's just in general or it, or because it's the off season, but like some of these hotels here, they look abandoned. Like this is bizarre. Like, like look at this shoe. Free shit. But yeah, this is kind of surreal, man. Like, I can imagine this place being swarmed with, like, Balkan tourists everywhere here. No, there's not much going on. All right, so this town is obviously not completely abandoned either. Look at this. This map, this logo looks pretty new. The European Resort of Sport and Beautiful by Nature. What an original catchphrase. But yeah, um, where are we? We're down here somewhere, I think over here or over here. Um, don't know which one but yeah it's it's not a small town it's just that there's nothing going on like we drove past all the restaurants were closed and everything and there's not much happening but there are people uh locals i guess i don't know where they buy their groceries and stuff maybe they drive into varna maybe they drive into balchik but yeah i'll update you here we have a um pool that is not empty actually you can go do a bit of swimming this looks very pleasant have a bunch of leaves in there, have whatever that stuff is. Um, is that mold? No, 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 it's just missing, it's just missing, um, tiles. Yeah, and we have this hotel, the Artabella Beach. Come stay here, it looks like a very nice hotel. Um, except for it being abandoned right now, or forever, I don't know which... <laughs> Like, it is, it is honestly very hard to tell, if, like, what this town is. Because it's obviously a tourist town, right? But where is everybody? Why does all the stuff look so decrepit? Is it okay? Over here on the beach, we have cabanas and showers. And one thing that I find unusual that I've noticed about Albana is everything is in English which is not really um, normal in Bulgaria. Bulgaria is a, um, is a uh, Bulgarian-speaking nation, obviously, and they use Cyrillic, usually. So this is unusual to see. It is obvious that this town is just for tourism, it just appeals to the um, mass European tourist, although I don't know how popular it is. Water's off for the winter. Over here, we're um, a bit far from the beach now. We've walked this way. Um, are all the businesses. They have like some German shit. They have some um, magic. They have folk dances. Tex-Mex in Bulgaria. Can you believe that? Um, Balkan grill with all the meats and stuff. Burgers. You can't go anywhere without burgers, you know. Um, cocktails at, she at the seashore. Um, a patisserie. So over here we have a um, supermarket and a bazaar. Um, let's see this. Obviously everything is closed. But like right here we have a um, bank of some sort. And a flower shop. And there's the supermarket right there. Oh, there is a coffee machine. So... Bulgaria is littered with these coffee machines, right? Like, they're all over the place. Oh, and it actually works. Wow, I might get a coffee. Just, just to get a coffee, you know? Cafe Bordbun. Yeah, because, like, a lot of them in Varna say they're, like, out of order right now because they're not restocking them, I don't think, but... Yeah, they have a big menu. Let's see. So, this is the Vaza Blue. So, um, I'm just gonna get espresso with choco. Let's see if uh, I have two. 
and it says it's a 70 lift. So, oh, and I get changed too. Oh, that's wet down there. That's awesome. Um, so now I have some useless Bulgarian coins with practically no value to them, which is great, you know. And here do we have pretty woman with spoons on their head dunked in coffee. Because what is an Eastern European advertisement without attractive woman? It's done. Oh. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this shit. It has a little spoon. So cute. <laughs> Yeah, it's strong. I don't taste the choco, but it works. And I'll see if I die of like um, some disease from drinking from a coffee machine in an abandoned tourist town. <laughs> but it tastes good so far. I don't think coffee or chocolate powder can expire because there's not milk or anything. It looks creamy, but it's not, I don't think it has cream. Cheers. So you know how they say that the first rule of Fight Club is that you don't talk about Fight Club? Obviously, they have uh, failed that. Oh, nightclub. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> so they got Pepsi, they got uh, bikinis in this nightclub here, and they're uh, open from from twenty two to five a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so over here, this is some kind of um, roller coaster thing ride, like carnival ride. Like, I think they have like a little carnival over here. Like, over there, there's some guys that are setting up or taking down some carnival stuff. I don't know what exactly, but yeah. That's right outside the bazaar here. So, those are two, um, there's like four guys over there. Some of the only people in town, the only signs of life. Over here, we are um, at this modern looking hotel. It looks quite nice. Um, and we got the Bulgaria flag. We got the. Alberna flag and we got the EU flag. Bulgaria is in fact an EU member even though they have Cyrillic as their alphabet. Fun fact. Uh, <laughs> um, look at that. I would not mind spending a holiday here if the price is right. The price wouldn't be right because the flights over here are quite expensive and why, why come here when you can just get like somewhere in Latin America but you know I can see the appeal for um, budget conscious European people. Oh, good duck, win a prize. I get a smooch, you know. Let's look at this here, it's a mini golf course. It doesn't look all that exciting, but you know, it's here. If you wanna go mini golfing. Look at this, a dance club. I'm trying to go drinking and dancing and mostly drinking. Let's see. It's right in front of this, like, decrepit-looking hotel. It's not decrepit, but it's kind of Soviet-looking. Soviet era. Ooh, that's a... What the fuck is that? Okay. Um. Whoa. What the fuck? Where did I end up? <laughs> I'm... This can't be the dance club, can it? Nah. What the... What is the dance club supposed to be? Is it over here? Yeah, I think it's this. Figures not fucking open. Wow. They have oh, another coffee machine. Oh yeah. Look at this. But yet they don't have water anywhere, which is unfortunate. I probably should have, should not have ordered that uh, okay. that espresso. Even better. Beer. Where the? I don't know how that works or how it's supposed to work. And also an ad for a SIM card. There's a stick there. I'm not working that battle right here. Yeah, so I can do it. Why not? Nah. Nah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's not stuck regardless. But oh. 
I have a little mini mart supermarket. I'm not sure I'd call it a supermarket, more like a market, but oh yeah, and a restaurant over here. Shop shop. Over here we have uh, some maintenance going on or lack of maintenance, one or the other. I don't know how that would happen, but yeah, not pleasant looking. Over here at this hotel. Oh wait, you can see inside the lobby. Let's, let's go over. Zero to 24 working time. They're open 24 seven. Isn't that amazing? Everything in there is covered with tarps. This is so bizarre. Over here, we got the Albania Touristic Train. Um, and we got some monkey bars. And a um, sign that I can't read. Something about swimming. It's a three-star swimming spot or something of the sort. I, I'm not sure I trust that, but yeah. Back where we started. All right, so what does this sign say, huh? Um, you're gonna die in a fucking landslide. That's the plan. Um, we're gonna go that way, except not really. We're going up the road over here, but yeah, I think it goes the same direction and it has the same cliffs, so that's cool. Uh, it's the same thing, it's closed off b barrier. We're not stupid enough to go that way. Don't worry, I'm not gonna die in a landslide. So we're going back up to the highway, if we can find where the fuck the highway is. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be cool. We're walking up this big staircase, like from all the way down there. There's the ocean for reference, and it still keeps fucking going. God, and there's mosquitoes and shit, which is cool. I made it to the fucking top. That was quite exhausting, but because I'm out of shape. But here we go. We got like these little um, cabanas. I'll call them that. Yeah, huts. Um, cabins that you can rent out. Look at this shit. Here in Albena, Bulgaria. Um, it, it, it doesn't seem entirely pleasant up here. I don't know if these things have plumbing or not, which might be the big issue. So we'll see if there's like a communal bathroom or something if they got, you know, like camping. But yeah. There's a lot of these, and I don't know where we are. Some Cyrillic there. I don't know what that says. I don't want to translate it. Too lazy. Um, the old big cabin up here. Oh man, this is not in good shape up here. Here, I have some, some, whatever the fuck that is, plastic, I think. Oh, that, that's nice. Um, and bunch of trash back here. All the windows are boarded up. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really want to step in that shit. Ooh, that's the roof. I made it to the road. Um, turns out the resort is fenced. Road is right, right up there. Um, if you can see that, right, right there. No, we gotta go. There's a road right there. Well, yeah, there's a road right there. The road right there goes to that road right there. And then we'll be on that road right there from the road right here. Yeah. We made it to the end of the road. It's fenced off and there's a van. I don't, I don't, I don't know if the van's affiliated with the place, but yeah. Oh, and there's a camera too. So upon halfling that fence, uh, the Bulgarian border police came and, and like talked to us on the side of the road and like asked us for like asked me for my passport and shit and like what the hell i was doing over there <laughs> um and that's the second time i've had trouble with the bulgarian border police because at the airport upon arriving they're like they interrogated me for like a half hour so maybe i'll be blacklisted from bulgaria i don't know but yeah we're on our way to fish fish so after walking along like this like gravel path on that side there's just suddenly a bike lane that like comes from here which is super nice. So, um, we don't have a bike, but I don't think anyone else is biking this shit. The hell? <laughs> and we're coming up to Fish Fish, I think. Roughly 20 minutes or so. <sighs> My fucking God. What a journey.